and to make it happen. And of course, we're talking about Jeannie Becker. She'll be appearing at the fundraiser tomorrow night. We're so excited she came in early to visit with us first. And Jeannie and I have just been chatting away, and we're like, oh, yeah, we have to do some television, too. <laughs> That's great. It's I was so saying fun. to you that you've been on television for so long that I feel like we're old friends. For so long. I know. Yeah. But it, and it feels like that for me, too. Does with it? everybody. Like, people, you know, hey, Jeannie, see, they see me on the street. Sure. They recognize me. We're, sure. And I feel this real connection to people because I know that show was such an integral part of their growing up. That was the show that turned them on to this whole crazy world of fashion. All that glamour, or supposed glamour, believe me, it wasn't all that glamorous, but... Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a great kind of show that families used to watch. Absolutely. Ted and I were saying, he's a dude, right? He was saying, we would sit around and watch this show. I know. And Ted was watching for those architecture stories, I'm, I'm sure. sure. He was. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Of course. Um, so, first of all, let's talk about why you're in Calgary. Mm. So, you're here for the Glenbow's annual fundraiser, the Schmancy event. Uh, are you excited about this event? Oh, ab well, absolutely. Yeah. I think the Glenbow is the hippest place. It really First is of all, cool. this wonderful exhibition that mm. they have on that Paul Hardy, so brilliantly so curated, uh, called Kaleidoscopic Animalia, oh, that's pretty heady, yeah. uh, is just so charming. I was blown away by it. And it takes quite a bit to blow me away because <laughs> I've seen so much. I'm I've sure. seen the greatest theatrical fashion shows staged by some of the legendary designers like the late Alexander McQueen, John Galliano, the theatricality of it, the storytelling aspect of, of fashion that is so charming and so magical. And there's Paul telling these wonderful stories in, in a series of magical, wondrous tableaus. It, you know, do yourself a favor and go if you haven't been there yet because it's on through till September right. now. Right, it is until yeah. September. That's wonderful. I have to ask you a question. So when you're at these fancy schmancy events, do people come up to you and say, oh, like fashion advice, what do you think I'm, what am I wearing? Or what yeah, do you think yeah, I should have done? Yeah, they do, them? they do. And I say, and what are you get doing a life. That? Get a life. No, I, you know, I think people fret a little too much about fashion. Listen, I don't want to bite the hand that feeds me. Sure. Fashion's course. great. It's yes. a wonderful mode of expression. Yes. It can transform us. It can make sure. us feel great about ourselves. It can also victimize us. We have to be very careful. Yes. So don't take it too seriously. That's my advice. Right. I think it's funny when people say, oh, I knew I was going to meet you today. So I was like really freaking out. I was up all night because <laughs> I didn't know what to wear. It was like, oh, Really? really? And I'm not judgmental no. in that way, not at all. Although sometimes I, I go on TV and like diss people on the red carpet, but that's just for the sake that's of entertainment. I don't think that's yes. a very nice thing to do, really. I'm not very <laughs> proud of that. But, but uh, you know, job. fashion is just a great fodder for conversation. It is, and isn't it's, it? you know, it's, it's just a celebration of uh, life, I think. And it's fun, too, isn't it? You can have a lot of fun with it. Let's talk a little bit about your fashions. Ah. Uh, you've got some spring fashions to show us. Yes, I do. Oh, do, do we yes, have some we pictures actually of have them? some graphics. Oh, we well, can yeah, show you. I do a line um, yes. for. Well, I, I do it for the Shopping Channel, yes. and I do it for uh, Hudson's Bay. Yeah. Uh, it's called Edit by Jeannie Becker. Uh, this is a dress. Oh, if, as you can see, the jacket that I'm wearing yes. today, it complements this particular dress. This is a nod to the whole athleisure theme that's right. very big in fashion today, so it has some mesh fabrication. The whole idea of, of patchwork is, uh, again, very au courant. And uh, the whole black and white story, I think, is totally chic, always classic. It never it, goes away, really, the black it, and white. It, it does never it. does. And easy to wear, fabrications that are um, uh, just of a wonderful quality. They really move with you. Yes. These are clothes to get you through your busy life. I love that dress because you can wear it pretty much from the office right into whatever you're doing that night, right? Yeah, just depending abso on how you accessorize it. Absolutely, yeah. Now, this is fun because it's got this lovely statement piece. Yes, yeah, this it. is, a, and that's what I really gravitate towards, too. Now, I don't like these pieces that you buy, they're, they're sort of for the season and then you throw them out. Right. Um, some of it's a little bit of investment dressing, so you're spending a tad more, but you know that the quality is so exceptional. These will be pieces that you fall in love with. You want them in your wardrobe for a long, long time. This little mesh coat is just the perfect complement over a little black dress. Uh, you could wear this to a garden party. You could wear this to a, a spring wedding with, yeah. with the right uh, outfit sure. underneath. Or just team it with a pair of black jeans yeah. um, with a pair of pants, the way we're showing it here, and a little T-shirt. Ultimately cool. And we're going to be launching this line on the shopping channel next Thursday. Fantastic. Uh, at, uh, it, the show is on at 6 o'clock here okay. in uh, this part of the 
country, <laughs> and it's called Style Matters. This is a yes. series that I host on the Shopping Channel, and we just have so much fun with it. So uh, tune That's in for so that. So great. We I know there was one other graphic too there that showed a bright pop of color. Okay. Because, so you've got a lot of the black and whites, yeah. which is of course standard and classic. But then here we are. You've got a bright. But we, pop oh, of color. we love our color. This right. Is, yeah, and this is a great um, all-weather coat, kind of a rain coat, which is, um, good. which is really good for some of the you know the, the yeah. damp uh, weather that we see uh, in various parts of this country. Um, this is a wonderful. Uh, Bright shade of orange, but but it's just a happy kind of color. And I think it would be flattering on most people. Yeah, and it looks so great with black. It looks so great with denim. It looks so great with white. I mean, in the spring to wear this with a pair of white jeans. Oh, fantastic! Um, and uh, this one is really special because it has a vest that oh. goes underneath. So it's a zip-up coat. Um, and underneath, you can't see it there, but there's actually a vest made of the same fabric oh, as the coat. So it's like a two-for-one deal. You get two fantastic. pieces for the price of one. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. You know, just quickly before you go, I have to ask you, you're such a huge advocate for Canadian fashion, too, and the Canadian industry. Can you tell me a little bit why you think that's so important? And I'm proud to say I got the Order of Canada for supporting yes. Canadian fashion. Where there you it is. Bad. Wear that proudly. I practically wear it to the gym. Very <laughs> proud to have been able to do that, especially at a time when Canadian designers we're not getting seen or noticed at all. Right. It's a little bit better now yes. because of social media, sure. of, because of the internet. Designers can have their own websites, they can sure. get their message out there. But if we don't support the incredible talent in this country, who is going to? I mean, right. there is such a great amount of national identity involved in the yes. way we dress. You know, you think of, you know, how do you differentiate different countries, you know, the first thing you see, the way they dress. And I'm not saying that Canadian fashion necessarily looks that different, but there's a certain spirit about the way uh, Canadian designers design, and they're just, they're brilliant. So I think it's important to, uh, to not only support them, but view what they do as a kind of artistic expression. Right. And support Again, it. And that's why the Glenbow is so brilliant in recognizing Paul Hardy and having him as their artist in residence. Exactly. There you go. Having a fashion designer right there doing that. So again, you are in town for the Glenbow Museum Schmancy event. This is, of course, tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. There are still a couple of tickets left, I think, so if you can, get out there and go. It'll be a great night. Jeannie, thank you so oh, much yeah, for being thank here. thank you so, so much. I joy to, to see you. And by the way, you look fabulous. Oh, thank you Very so much. Very on trend with thank that little so folkloric dress. It's just oh, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> I made my day. Jeannie just said I had a nice dress. Yay.